Hey, it's Zach Oex again, and today I'm going to go over properties, methods, and events, avoid using go to, and enumerator, what we call enumeration. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with a standard exe and go to view code. Now, we're going to talk about properties first. Let me kind of show because it's easier to see. Go ahead and add a button. Now, on the right here, this is the properties. Um, you can see them here. And sometimes they're strings, integers, doubles. That's data types. Um, then they have font, which is its own data type. Um, Booleans, this would be the true or false statement here. These are what properties are. And you can see them and change them. Um, so if we're to go to our code, this is a button right here. Go to our code. Just form. Oops. I meant to do form load. We can reference these properties or call for them um, just by saying the, the object's name and control name. So it would be command one from what I remember. And then you can see here a lot of properties, but the other thing that is here is methods. Now methods is if you see this hand on top of a um, looks like a file that's a property but this it looks like something moving and it's green and maybe it looks like a folder or, or something else but that is a method um, so saying dot set focus that's all you say um, what that does is it takes the button and sets the focus on it. So if I run it, should have, excuse me, I remember why this doesn't work. You can't, can't set something to focus right at the beginning of the form load. Reason being is because the form hasn't loaded all the way yet. What you do in that case is use a timer. But let's say, let's say, try to show a different one. Dot refresh. I don't think that will cause a problem. Yeah, see that's a method. Um, you could do that Z order. And I believe doing one or zero would be the top position. So that's a method. Um, sometimes a method can change uh, properties. So I believe this is the function in Visual Basics is the dot move showing here is a method though. Um, so we could have zero for left, zero for top, width, height. And when we do that, it's changing all these properties. The left property, the top property, the width, and the height. So when we ask command one, what is your left property? It's gonna say zero now, or height, zero, top, zero. So, let's go to events. I talked about events uh, near the beginning of my videos. Um, but what you can do here is double click on the button. And the button will pop up with the normal event click. Um, you go over here to the right. These are other events that happen. Maybe you want to again get when the mouse is pushed down or the mouse comes up, the mouse button. Or a key pushed down or when it got focus. These are events. I went over the properties, methods, and events. Okay. Next thing I was going to go over, avoid using go to. Oh, I don't know how many times people talk about this. Why do we talk about avoid using go to? Except for when you do errors. You can do the on error go to and this is the best case to do it but if let's say command one dot caption equals i then go to whatever now you'd have your whatever down here and you 
you'd use the exit sub here because you're in a sub, not a function or anything like that. And this would go to whatever down here, and you have your code up here. But you don't want to do this too much. Um, same with errors. The reason being is because you have all your go tos down below, or you can have them somewhere else. And that gets really what we call spaghetti code. Code's going to be all over the screen. It's going to be causing all kinds of problems if you're working on a huge project. What we do instead, and I usually suggest the end if always here, so you can put your go to in here, but um, I don't usually put on one line if something equals then something one line. No. I always use the end if so you can see what's inside. Um, I believe that's how you do it here. 